All right, guys, I'm going to show you real quick here. Well, it's going to take a while, but in this video, it's going to be real quick how to make some phenomenal ribs. Uh, we have here some ribs that we had from our, our pig we had butchered and uh, had them all thawed out. They're ready to go. And I'm going to just show you what you need. You need like a preparation, whatever you got here to prepare your food on. Uh, your favorite kind of sauce. Mine's Sweet Baby Ray's Phenomenal Barbecue Sauce. Any kind of rub. I actually usually make my own, but uh, this stuff's pretty good. Sweet and smoky rub. Uh, grill Mates uh, from McCormick. So I'm going to use that today. I use, but it's you could pretty much make any kind of rub you want. And then you're going to want a pan or a, uh, to cook it in the oven for. And... Uh, and uh, we'll go from there. Some tin foil and cling wrap too. You're gonna need. So uh, let's get preparing. Okay, this is uh, a couple of them. I have four of these uh, that I'm gonna be doing. Um, a lot of the ribs you get, they'll have a membrane on the back, a uh, portion of it. Um, this one doesn't. If it does, you want to take it off here, and just so you have a. Uh, all of it, but this this part of the preparation is actually pretty easy. You're just going to want to take your rub, sprinkle it on pretty generously, and you're just going to want to rub it into the meat. Just like it says, it's pretty easy to do. You want to get it in there pretty good, and you want to do both sides. And you can be as liberal as you want, but you want to get that in there pretty good. do that on all four and then we'll come back okay once you have all your meat and rub worked in your meat it's pretty easy to get it prepared once you have it and I forgot to say make sure your meat is completely thawed out you want your your ribs to be completely thawed out um, you can place them in a pan and if you and don't they can stay on top of each other. You can stack them on top. You can actually put them in the pan any way you want. It's pretty, pretty simple. Um, now what I do is I like to put a, uh, little bit of apple juice on it for it to cook in. Um, and you can use any kind of juice you want, anything, but you can just, just pour it right over top of it. Um, kind of adds just a little bit of apple flavor to it. Nothing big, but it actually tastes pretty good. <laughs> um, once you pour that in, and, and you can put actually any kind of uh, juice you want, or you can put just water if you want. Next thing you want to do, you want to take a piece of saran wrap or cling wrap, whatever you want to use, and you want to put over top of this, like this. you get that on, you want to take your tin foil and you want to cover that over top of that with your tin foil. Now if you aren't going to use a grill, which I am going to use at the latter stage of this, you want to sear your meat on the stove. So like on a pan, you'd want to sear both sides of your ribs. And, uh, um, but I'm going to be using the grill after I cook that. Now what I do is I put this in the oven. You can do between 250 to 300 degrees. I'm going to set mine on 250 and you cook it for about two to three hours. After about two hours, you want to check to make sure how it is. Um, so let's get the oven preset and we'll put it in there. All right. Uh, our oven is set at 250. And I'm going to put this in, just throw it right in the center there. And I am going to let it cook probably for about two and a half hours, three hours, and then I'll finish the rest on the grill. So, uh, pull them back out in a couple hours. Okay, we're a little into two hours into my ribs. And I'm going to show you 
how we make these awesome potatoes. We slice them up fairly thin, about like that. And then we load them with tons of salt. Not very healthy, but it's good. <clears throat> I use a full stick of butter, cut it up, five chunks, throw them in the corner there, one in the center here. Then I take the greatest seasoning salt ever, Lowry's. We just put a nice coating over top. And then I cook this about 45 minutes on the grill. And you'll keep turning it over, flipping them over, but it, they'll come out, get a lot of crispy ones. And, but they are absolutely delicious. So, should be updating the ribs here shortly. Okay, ribs are done. They're about, or in the oven done. Uh, I cooked them for about two hours, 45 minutes. They probably could have went another 15, but uh, I'm getting hungry, so didn't want to wait. But uh, we got about another 15 minutes of work to do out here, and I'm gonna show you real quick how to do this. Um, these are our potatoes here that I, Cook. You can see those. What you want to do is you want to do tin foil because you're definitely going to make a mess uh, with the with the barbecue sauce. I'm gonna put this real low. I don't even want it to be super hot. First thing we're going to do is just slather them all up so you can you see them all. I just got a squirt bottle. I just slather it right on and then we'll brush it all in there. And then what I do is I right away take them, flip them right over again. Yep, they're already falling apart. That's a good sign. Same thing again. And take the brush and we'll brush it on. And I am going to stir these potatoes, flip them again. I like my potatoes a little bit well, real well done, a little bit, some crispy ones in there and stuff, so. Um, <clears throat> we'll let that cook for a little bit longer. Like I said, I want this side pretty low on the ribs. So, we'll let that cook and we'll probably be done in about 10 minutes or so. So, we'll show the finished product here. All right, the ribs are done, as well as the potatoes. Here is the final presentation. Potatoes turned out absolutely magnificent. And the ribs, just show you how they come apart. Right, come right off the bone. You want the bone, come right off, ooh, a little warm, but 
bone pulls right out. And that is a perfectly done rib. So we're going to have a nice dinner. I love grilling. And that's how I do my ribs. And just try to help you out a little bit if you're wondering how to make them or how you want to get them to pull apart real good from the bone. That's how you do it. So, all right, take care. God bless. Time to eat.